So really what we're doing is um, trying to engage the community by offering culturally specific programming to youth and to guardians and anyone who supports those youth by building on our cultural connectivity and also just celebrating our Latina traditions and activities and just bringing generations together in those safe spaces and having um, youth engage in conversations with their supporters and guardians and parents um, around the root causes of violence. We also recognize as a Latina community agency that there's a lack of communication in space and educational settings that sometimes uh, prevent parent and student involvement in a way that they can feel um, that, that really feels inclusive and in a space that can really address issues that the Latino families have experienced. You know, we know that there are volunteer opportunities in schools and that's amazing, but there are also, also language barriers, there are cultural differences, and then also the willingness to address certain topics and conversations around culture and personal experiences in a safe way that maybe in other cultures are not experiencing, right? So the willingness to talk about the oppressive and violent norms in our society, transparency and curricula around this, and even to be able to have a spa safe space to talk about racism and navigating um, in the society if you're undocumented. So all of these things are experiences that um, we really try to create a space where families can come together and openly talk about it. EPH, just for a little bit of um, background, started through farm visits, I want to say about 30 to well, about 35 years ago, and gradually grew into the agency that it is today. We have a variety of services um, under El Programa Hispano Católico, which include um, education, early childhood to adulthood. We have housing, community services, wellness. UNICA, the Domestic and Sexual Violence Department at El Programa Hispano, um, was developed in response to um, just a need in the community, identified by the Latine community, and that happened 30 years ago. UNICA's goal has always been to provide support and advocacy um, opportunity for survivors and of course through a culturally and linguistically um, specific services. We provide support groups in Spanish, um, we provide mental health services, child and family um, services, outstation services, and of course we have the primary prevention programming like BUS. All of our services are, um, are provided in Spanish and English and are bilingual and um, bicultural. And almost all of our staff are bilingual, uh, bicultural, and the majority of us identify as Latino as immigrants um, to this country. What we really try to do is focus on cultural strengths, such as family, community, and just supporting one another through those cultural strengths that we have. The goal is to engage youth more deeply within the community and um, try to um, build on the pride of culture through field trips, art, activism and different sorts of projects. And we also try to create a space of um, where youth can have conversations in a safe space and work together and build on their leadership school, uh, skills. And we also like to have um, parents and guardians engage as well when possible to work together and support one, one another within the community, within the school culture, within the school culture, because we really like them to have a space where they can discuss needs that arise in the community. and. BAS really tries to increase participant knowledge of anti-violence strategies and strengthen positive behaviors um, through our culture as well. So um, we also provide culturally competent trainings to professionals. And our intention is really, again, to strengthen those cultural connections and community engagement and create a safe community. And that's really what BAS is all about.